Wilkinson on the left. We're actually going to flip those because we're just kidding. Wilkinson is on your right. Carlson is on your left. <laughs> See, the magic of live TV, we can fix anything. We can do anything. We have the technology. All you got to do is believe. That's it. Mm. And, you know, I, again, I think that this does favor Ant. Both players have probably, I mean, honestly, they look like they're friends there. You see the friends in the background. They've probably played this match a timer, timer 20 yeah. uh, against each other. So we'll see uh, which one it favors. And I always like that when that happens, when you get to watch two people uh, play a matchup that's, like, you know, fairly uh, interactive and... and skill intensive and whatnot uh who have played that matchup a ton against each other yeah it's because a lot there's, of fun. The, there's a lot more um leveling there's a lot more sort of you know the opponent's tendencies and you can sort of play to those um there's a lot more yeah just uh interesting behind the scenes tricks that uh you know the the casual observer may not pick up on Again, Wilkinson will be on the play, which is a pretty big deal here. As you see, both players are going to start say, talking, excuse me, start taking a look at their opening hands. You see an ad nauseum and a Gitaxian probe, two Gitaxian probes in the swamp, among other things over there for Grant. So we'll see if his hand comes together pretty well here or not. And he looks like he is content with keeping it because those Gitaxian probes, AJ, they could be anything. Even a jungle weaver. That's right. Even a boat. You see Nick Carlson is going to take a mulligan here. may have had a lot of his bad cards in his hand as he does have... Cards in his deck, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the misses, there are a lot more of those than hits. You see Supreme Verdict, Numazawa's GTA, Engineer Explosives, Vindicate, Batter Skull isn't a great card to just provide a clock, though. Lingering Soul, super slow. Source of Plowshares as well. A lot of stinkers in there, but he's got to find those hits, especially for game one. Isn't you it? also don't want your Jaces early. You don't want your uh, uh, too many lands. <laughs> you know, you don't want to be clogged on cantrips uh, and stoneforge mystics when you can't tap out yeah uh, there are a lot of a lot of ifs a lot of misses and we are going to start off the finals with a gataxian pro what's up what you got dog let's see what he kept we see an inquisition of kozlek we see a stoneforge mystic a brainstorm a new was Jite, a force of will and a polluted delta you know, Gitaxian Probe is really good for coverage. <laughs> Can I yeah. say that? <laughs> <laughs> it is a dream to have that thing involved. And we're going to see another Gitaxian Probe, so Grant needs a little help. And draws an Infernal Tutor. Does he have a land? Uh, yeah, he's got a couple. All right. I just want to make he's sure. He's just, uh, you know, if you draw the, the Ponder or Prayer Dame, then you want to be able to cast it. His life total, not the biggest deal. Uh, Esper Stone Blade. The clock is usually in fives. Yeah, <laughs> the stone for mystic uh, getting a batter skull. So, um, you know, taking four is uh, not actually that big of a deal, uh, especially with a hand like this, which you are going to see via Inquisition of Kozlak, Swamp, Infernal Tutor, Ad Nauseam, Brainstorm, Cabal Ritual, and Lotus Petal. Not bothering brainstorming to hide any goodies. You ain't scared. Yeah. And there goes Brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> And so Nick is going to write this down, get that information here from Grant. So Grant's going to have to... He's got to power through a force of will. He does. He's going to have to... I don't know. He's got, he's got some work to do. He needs some more mana, some more protection. Ooh, come on, therapy. That'll power through a force of will. I was going to say, we, uh, we've seen his hand uh, twice yep. <laughs> last turn. Uh, so the therapy guaranteed to hit. Yep. And it is a force of will, and there is a swords to plowshares joining Nick's hand. Nick asking, can I untap, or are you about to kill me? I thought he was creating infinite suck. mana. Yeah, because that would suck if I was going to die. Swords to plowshares, Rubens, I was Jite, um, Stoneforge Mystic, and Brainstorm are the cards there. And you're going to see him play a Lotus Petal. He's going to play an Inferno Tutor to get Cabal Ritual, and he's setting up to go off next turn. Absolutely. So he's daring Nick to draw a Force of Will. Gets his threshold. Gets his second Cabal Ritual. He's got the Ad Nauseum. Draw. Nick has a draw. And has a, a brainstorm. brainstorm. One, two, three! Is that a Thoughtseize? That looks like a Thoughtseize. That's a Caracas. Caracas not too good. Snapcaster not too good. I got a feeling <sighs> that he does not have a way to cast that Thoughtseize. He has Caracas. Caracas. He does pass the turn back now. He does have a Thoughtseize, but he can't cast it on the mulligan. Are you going to go for it? Are you? Do you have it in you, Grant Wilkinson, to go for it? And we see Cabal Ritual. 
We see Cub. Nope, we don't see Bar Ritual. Well, we see one. We don't see the second one. This is going to give him five mana, and now we are going to see... I think you have to Cabal Ritual here. Uh, a little bit of cold feet. You're, I mean, <laughs> you're, fairly, you're fairly all in at this point yeah, anyway. Can... Yeah, right. there we go. Yeah, there's another Cabal He thinks ritual. about it, but he does come to yeah, the correct and... conclusion. Ad nauseum. nauseum. <laughs> and the please. Yeah. The please. It will resolve. Ant has been known to fizzle from 15. It's going to be art. Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual. Brainstorm. He's going quick now. He's taxing for a Lotus Petal. Scalding Tarn. Volcanic. Infernal Tutor. Right. Polluted Delta. Lion's Eye Diamond. Duress. And Concession. Indeed. <sighs> Plenty of mana. Infernal oh, Tutor Nick. with Lion's Eye Diamond. We'll find him the tendrils. And that'll be a wrap. Why didn't Nick want to... Why did Nick resign? Why why he resigned? I don't know. I he didn't like, want to play anymore? I feel like he may have seen this before. Why, did, why didn't he want to continue the game? Maybe he's been tendrils a time or two at GameOn.com. <laughs> As we're going to cut back to the booth here. Dot .com.org.net. Dot get, dot get you a full year of premium out here before we cut back to what might be another bloodbath of a game. That's premium time, of course. Pretty. Full year. Can I ask you a question? You're gonna ask. You're gonna hashtag the answer to has, hashtag SCG Premium. We'll select one winner again about accuracy, not speed. And that question will be: What deck did Cedric and I think was the best deck that <laughs> plays on barrel rights? <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna ask another junk animator question. Come on now, you're better. I give the answer. You're, yeah, just giving it away. In the Ad Nauseum Tendrils deck, Ant, that is, as it is called, there is one, I want to make sure of this, there is one red card in the main deck. It's got flashback, and it works pretty well with the rest of the cards in the deck. And if you're able to name that red card that does have flashback, that is one of here in Grant Wilkinson's deck list, you're going to win a full year premium. So again, one red card in the main deck that does have flashback works pretty, works pretty well in this deck, too. You could just spam all the red flashback cards, you know, you and hope to hit. You could, you, you could name, excuse me, Firecat Blitz and hope that that's right. <laughs> yeah. If you're a believer in Firecat Blitz, um, or perhaps Flaring Pain. What's the uh, what's the the one damage? Uh, the one damage one. There's Geist Flame. No, there's and also the uh, there's also Lava Dart. Lava Dart. And there's also Flash of Defiance. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you don't know what that does. Flash of Defiance. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, name it. Is it a falter effect? You know what? I will buy you dinner if you can name what Flash of Defiance or F and Flaming Gambit do. And? I have to name them both? If you can name Flash of Defiance and Flaming Gambit, I will buy you dinner. Well, and the only, reason, the only reason I know what both these cards do is I got 20th in a constructed grand for you when I was 16 with those cards in my deck. I mean, Flaming Gambit is... I hate you. Why would you do that? <laughs> You're so lucky he didn't see that. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. You know what? Flash of Defiance and something Gambit? Flaming Gambit. Flaming Gambit. Flaming Gambit's an X spell, right? That's correct. All right. So I got that one. And then the That's other one. The, what? <laughs> what? Not the right answer at all. Um, and Flash of Defiance, if I had to guess, I would say it was a falter. That's close. It is a falter. You know, you can bring Flash of Defiance on the screen now. You'd clearly not get the answer, right? Yeah, no. This it's a good. falter. This is good again. Yeah, this is a particular falter here. It's back in the uh, back in the Odyssey days. Players can't block with green or white creatures. That is a falter. Oh, what if they have blue, black, or red? All creatures? right, now bring up uh, uh, no. Ga Gambit. Do you have flaming, Gambit, uh, flaming Gambit. This Queen's is, Gambit. This was the, very uh, good against the mono black deck back in the day, as they only had Nantuko Shade. Oh, as look at X spell. I this is I not, can't wait for dinner. It's gonna be great. Yep, we I see are Ryan Connor over there. We're gonna go out for his birthday. Seven Eleven is it's still on. open. It's they have some of you. the best hot dogs out there. I think they're doing the two for a dollar special right now. And you know, I got a couple dollars in my wallet, so I don't mind. How many you want? Five, six? <laughs> good guy. I don't mind. They're probably brand new right off those rollers, aren't they? Yeah, I'll take a few and I'll just throw them at your face. <laughs> That's awesome behavior. Yeah. Taking a look at the sideboards here very quickly as the players have shuffled up. Uh, the Ant deck, he's, uh, we've seen Grant's sideboard in Chain of Vapor 4. I wouldn't be surprised to see it come in as well. Ch uh, Cabal Therapy, number four is certainly going to come in. Or number three, excuse me, he has an additional one in the sideboard is going to come in. He has an additional copy of Tendril's Vagony. Not sure that he's going to need it. Uh, other than that, he also has three copies of Carpet of the Flowers and a Tropical Island. So he can go that route, make it so that he can generate mana that way. Well, I, I do believe that that is the sort of anti-control plan. Um, I think that Carpet of Flowers 
and there it is, uh, is, you know, it's in the sideboard for this these types of matchups. Yep. Um, and as for Nick Carlson, he does have four discard spells main, and he has a, an additional Inquisition and two Cabal Therapies in the board going up to seven discard spells in addition to two spell pierces and three guys to sink trap to try and close the game out quickly. Much faster clock um, than uh, his other uh, creatures. So he's stone for a mystic on kind the of search of that batter skull. Duress coming here from from Wilkinson. And it sees a bunch of glare. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it looks like it just sees a bunch of glare. Look, he just took the batter skull. I, I was going to say, it's the, it's a, no, it's the a, force of will. Okay. Force of will. Uh, the batter skull should uh, be in hand. Or no, it's a. Uh, it got he got the rest twice. Yeah, yeah. So these two players are. Can you tell they're familiar with each other? Because they're playing pretty quick. Yeah. And they're even playing. They're, yeah, they're even just playing face up too. So definitely some friendly game being played here. Dark ritual, ponder, and tendrils of agony in Grand Wilkinson's hand. We'll see what he does draw for the turn. And he's just going to play a ponder. I gotta say I'm a big fan of the the face up, so you don't waste time taking notes and then crossing them out and rechecking them. You know, just you know the cards. Let's let's be adults about this. The card that he is hiding there. Do you want, do you want Grant to turn his mystery card face up too? Uh, uh, the infernal tutor that he drew this turn. I was gonna say he can at least show us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it it is uh, indeed an infernal tutor. You. Uh... Well, I caught it. You can't get anything by me. My left eye might not work very well right now, but you can't get it by me. You, you did call the. That uh, one's a duress. You did call the uh, matching shirts, so. And Nick Nick is not giving me any help here. He's uh, just drawing yeah. his card. He's just drawing his card face down. And he's going to play a planes now, and we'll see if he has. He has a Stoneforge Mystic. And we'll see if he actually left him as I was GTAing or if he did. It looks like he did. Another, he's, uh, he's, he's looking. Um, I mean, again, not great, but he has so many cards to take out yeah. that you got to leave something in. And it's definitely probably one of the better ones because, uh, oh, no, he did not find it. Big whiffs. Never mind. Maybe trying to scare Grant. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you forgot to get an equipment. What are you doing? Yeah. Bro, yeah, bro, you're stone for it. Don't you how your card works? So Nick, uh, Grant pointing at Stoneforge saying, you, you're supposed to search. Why? <laughs> so Why we, got, you? we got a couple of squires for Nick Carlson uh, and a couple of the most powerful <laughs> tutors and uh, storm spells and enablers uh, for Grant. As we are going to see a ponder here off of, off of the carpet of flowers. The mana that is producing. You may be wondering why he did not tap any mana, and Carpet of Flowers is the reason for that. Carpet de Flores. I don't know how to say carpet in, in Spanish. I almost said Mexican. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I'm American. So, ooh, he did choose to uh, draw us. Yeah. He wants to hit his land drops, and you're going to see a duress here. He wants to see exactly what's going on. You see a spell pierce. That's got to go. He's still the hand of Dark Ritual, Infernal Tutor. hi -ya! We see the stone force Ice mystics strike. come in here for two, and he's going to play a flooded strand and pass the turn back. Grant will take a draw step. Oh, look at this for recall. That's a brainstorm, actually. Brainstorm is the card that's going to be this <laughs> here. So, Grant is going to pick up the cards now, and he is going to rearrange some things. You see past in flames in his hand to go along with tendrils, dark ritual, lotus petals. So he is getting set up pretty here, pretty pretty well here, and he knows that the coast is. Fairly clear if he can just cobble together the pieces to finish going off. Really, I think he's just looking for a lion's eye diamond to complete this. Um, yeah. And, I mean, he's actually getting to the point where he doesn't even need it. It's not like he needs the mana with a carpet of flowers in play. Yeah. Um, although, Nick is not cracking his fetches, so carpet only adding one? Yep. Just one right now. So... No, the, the, the only reason I think they need lion's eye diamond is just a way to go hellbent there with the... Uh, with the Infernal Tutor, but now you see that Grant has picked up his pen and he's putting it to paper, which means he may be doing a few calculations. Yeah, some maths. Something that I would not be caught dead doing. Um, ever. Not a big fan of the math. Well, uh, the Belcher math is a lot easier. Yeah, I can count to seven. Past seven, and Adam Pro's success with the Storm Deck, can you count to ten? And the answer is no. Yeah, What what's between seven and ten? I know there's a couple things, but... You see Grant is going to do some math here as he's resolving this brainstorm. Nick, uh, Nick allowing that to happen, does not mind too much. Puts those cards back. And is it going to be go time? You see an Infernal Tutor? Infernal Tutor with a Dark Ritual is actually just break even. It's uh, two additional storm and getting towards Hellbent for the other Infernal Tutor. 
or uh, rather the Past in Flames same Infernal Tutor. Indeed. And so you see that hand there, Past in Flames and Lotus Petal, and it looks like it is going to be go time. Paddle. We're going to see a Lotus Petal into Dark Ritual. So he's going to move up to five mana here. It is the perfect number because it allows him to pass in flames and have the one to restart with the rituals. You know, that was that, that was the math he was doing. Yep. And he just wanted to make sure that he wasn't blowing it as he does have that Infernal Tutor in the graveyard. We're going to see more rituals get cast out of the graveyard. Two more is going to generate some more mana. Nick has looked like he has clicked the real-life F6 Brian Kibler fame, <laughs> and he is picking up his cards. All we right. have a champion in Grant Wilkinson. Ad nauseum tendrils. Wins 2-0 over Nick Carlson playing Esper Stoneblade. Congratulations to Grant playing the boogeyman of a deck. 